in this problem the current i is given as 0.5 amperes the time t is given 10 minutes but we should maintain the units in only one system therefore we wanted to convert this into seconds so as to get the final answer in SI units so 10 should be multiplied by 60 which gives us 600 second now the charge is asked we know the formula Q is equal to current times time so here 0 0.5 times 600 so we can write this 5 by 10 and 600 so the final answer is 300 coulomb a continuous and closed path of an electric current is called an electric circuit for example SL a bulb and connecting wires if this plug is put in then we call it as closed circuit suppose if this is taken off then no current passes through the circuit and it is called open circuit the unit of current is ampere it can be defined if one coulomb charge passes through any wire in one second then we say that one ampere current is constituted this is nothing but a mathematical definition because we defined current as charge per unit time if you make these two one q as one coulomb and t as one second then i will be one ampere the question is how many electrons will constitute one coulomb charge so here charge is given as one coulomb and the number of electrons was asked the individual charge of an electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb of course it is with negative because electron is carrying negative charge now q is equal to n e here n is asked therefore we have to divide the charge by the charge of an electron which 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 now I can take this 10 to the power of 19 to the numerator and for this 
1.6 one more 10 I have to write that should be divided by 16 now conveniently how do we write 100 into 10 to the power of 18 divided by 16 now you can divide 16 6 are 96 then 4 point 16 twos 32 and then 16 fives 80 therefore this can be written as 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 so 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons if you put at a particular place then it constitutes one coulomb charge so you can understand how big is the coulomb so the number of electrons constitute a charge of one coulomb is 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 is a very big number in this problem the work done is asked to move a charge of two coulombs therefore Q is given as two coulomb the potential difference is given as 12 volt how we have defined the potential difference it is work done per unit charge so therefore potential is equal to work done by charge this is the formula to be used so that we can calculate the work done work done is equal to v times q that is 12 times 2 what is the unit of work done in SI system it is joule so 24 joule is the answer for this question in this question name a device that helps to maintain a potential difference across a conductor the answer is cell in this question the meaning of 1 volt potential difference is asked suppose if you place any charge then it will have its influence the space covered by the influence of this charge is called electric field if you take two points in any electric field to move one unit positive charge from A to B you have to do the work the work the work done in moving a unit positive charge between any two points is one joule then the potential difference is said to be 1 volt between the two points we have written the formula potential difference is equal to W by 
Q. If I make this Q and if it is to be 1 volt, it should be 1 joule. If Q is unit positive charge and V is 1 volt, then obviously W is equal to V into Q, 1 volt into 1 coulomb, which gives us 1 joule. So, this is the definition of potential difference. In this question, the charge is given as 1 coulomb and the potential difference V is given as 6 volts. Now, energy is asked. Energy is nothing but the work done which is the product of Q times V that is 1 into 6 which is equal to 6 joule. Remember you should always express your answer with the SI units. There are two parts in this problem. One it is given 220 volt the bulb resistance 1200 and the current passing through the bulb is asked or current passing through the filament is asked. So, we know that according to Ohm's law V is equal to I times R. Therefore, I is equal to V by R that is 220 divided by 1200 after simplifying you will get an answer as 0 0.18 ampere so this is the first part now in the second part V is same of course 220 volt resistance of the heater coil is given as 100 ohm and I is asked. So, again we will write same formula 220 divided by 100. So, this is going to be 2.2 ampere. In this question, a heater is connected across 60 volt that is potential difference is given as 60 volt. Now it draws a current of 4 ampere. Now the question is suppose if V is increased to 120 volt what should be the value of current? as the resistance is same because same coil is used. So, what is the formula for resistance according to Ohm's law? V by I. This can be written as V1 by I1 is equal to V2 by I2. So, what is V1? 60 by 4 what is V2? 120 by I2. So, I2 is equal to this 4 goes to that side 120 into 4 divided by 60 which gives you 8 ampere. The same problem can be done first by finding the resistance and then by applying the ohms law. So, here what is the resistance from the given data? Resistance is equal to V by I. So, 60 by 4 which gives us 15 ohm resistor. The value of resistance is 15 ohm. Now, from this I is equal to V by R 120 divided by 15 which gives you 8 ampere. Either way you can do it.